Kia ora koutou and welcome to the Southern Business Growth and Support Virtual Conference. My name is Angela Caves. I'm the Digital Events Manager for Digital Boost. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. Um, it's wonderful to have you all here. We're welcoming, welcoming people uh, who have registered for this webinar and also those who are joining us via a live stream. We're streaming to Facebook, LinkedIn and YouTube, so welcome. Um, Yesterday, we had day one of our conference, so we had our collaborating partner and Digital Boost present. We had great uh, representation here from Amaltai and uh, Kuma, who were talking about support for our Māori and Pacifica businesses. And we also were joined by NZTE, who uh, talked to us about preparing for exporting. Uh, if you do want to watch any of those sessions, if you missed them yesterday, they are available on Digital Boost YouTube channel. There's a playlist there for the Southern Business uh, Conference that you can pop in and have a look at. It's my pleasure to welcome my collaborating partner, Claire from Connected. Claire is going to take us through some webinar housekeeping and then we're going to invite our guests to present to us. Thanks, Claire. Thanks, Inge. Uh, tēnā katou katoa. Uh, ko Claire Hemel Toko Ingwa, uh, ko Wai Hopai Aho. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Claire Hemel, and I'm the Employment Liaison Advisor from connected.govt.nz. Uh, I'm hosted by the Ministry of Social Development in their building at 33 Gala Street. It's my pleasure to welcome along Sheree and a couple of her team along from the Southland Chamber of Commerce. Uh, to talk to you today about some of their exciting products and services that they have. But firstly, just to go over a couple of housekeeping um, uh, things. On this webinar today, you'll be able to see and hear the uh, co-hosts, but you will, we will not be able to see or hear you. So if you have any questions or are wanting to clarify anything, at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a Q&A section and also a chat function. So if you'd like to use these functions to pop questions into, and at the end of the webinar, we will actually address these questions um, and comments from there. So from there, uh, I have the great pleasure of handing over to Sheree. Um, I've had the pleasure of working alongside her before, and um, yeah, some of the amazing stuff they do down here, I can't sing your praises enough. So hand it over to you. Thanks, Sheree. Uh, kia ora, kia, Claire. Thank you for that lovely introduction. Um, I'm just going to share my screen and make sure I've got the correct one. We're good to go. I'm good. Cool. Uh, kia ora koutou, ko Sheree Kerry Aho. I'm the proud CEO of the Southland Business Chamber. I've been with the Chamber for about six years now and I love my job. Um, and I've got a great team um, working alongside me, which is always good um, when you have to spend most of your life going to work. Um, I'm going to, go to give you an overview basically of what we do down here in Southland. And then I'm going to hand over to Joe and Michelle to talk about our training events and our priority projects that we're currently working on. Um, so the Southland Business Chamber was established in Invercargill in 1863. Um, but more recently, and probably only in the past 10 years, we've really begun to reach out in the wider regional community, holding events and training and advocating for the likes of Fiordland, East and Southland and the rural sector. Um, we've also been helping build leadership capability in some of our smaller towns like Atalto and Edendale and also over on Rakiura. Uh, where are we? Want to go? Here we go. Um, so I'll just get to introduce you to our team. This works for me. Here we go. Um, so we currently have 10 staff, um, a mixture of full-time and part-time, and three of our staff are new to the team in the past month. So Joanne and Michelle are joining me on um, the webinar today. Um, we've got Nikki, um, who's our administration manager, who's been with us for many, many years and knows everything there is to know about Chamber. Um, Leanne and Robert, um, events and, and membership managers are both up in um, Fiordland today, actually, along with Jenny, who's our Fiordland Business Association secretary. They're running 
um, a new member mixer up there. So we also have Pauline, who's in charge of all our training um, programs, and Lynn and Anna that we have down there um, are a couple of randoms that we threw in there for good luck. So which I'll get to later when we talk a little bit about collaboration. Um, but it might seem odd that we've got a theatre manager and a, a housing champion um, as part of our, our team, but more to come on that later. Um, we've got a large and proactive board, which is fantastic. We've made up of six elected directors and six co-opted directors. So they represent uh, various sectors of our membership base from rural to export tech, professional services, engineering, and a mix, good mix of um, SMEs and large business, um, as you can see there. Uh, we also have a representative, Bronnie, from the Fiordland Business Association, um, who joined us during COVID just to ensure that tourism um, had a wider regional voice than just Tiano. So if I can click back to that one, what does the Chamber do? Um, so we're part of a new, the New Zealand Chamber Network and the Global Chamber Community. Um, we effectively all have the same core reason for being, but we like to throw in a few special tricks on top, as you'll find out. Um, we are the business community connector. So Joe and Michelle will run through this bit more in depth shortly, but becoming a chamber member uh, means you have access to all of this. Um, and also member offer discount, members offer discounts to other members. And as part of the National Chamber Network, we also have fantastic savings, the likes of Noel Leeming and Torpedo 7 and more um, that are available to your employees. And what we've seen this year is quite cleverly by one of our members has these discounts listed in their staff induction handbook, um, saying that if you work for their business, you get all of these benefits. So aren't we a great place to work, which I thought was um, a very clever way of sharing um, the business benefits with their employees. So membership, uh, as you can see, after even 159 years, we're still growing steadily and adapting all the time to the needs of our members. In recent years, we've experienced membership growth with 24% growth in 2021 and 2022. And we're proud um, of our retention rate at 91%, which is one of the highest retention rates for the chambers throughout New Zealand. Um, our motto is what's important to you is, is important to us, has ensured that we stay on top of the requirements for different industries as they change. So we have to be adaptable. And I'm really proud of the changes that we've made over the years to ensure that we stay relevant, especially through COVID, um, where our services were more required than ever. So members, um, the word members, people get a little confused sometimes. They're individual businesses. So we have 570 businesses throughout the region um, and we represent them and all their employees. So as you can imagine, it's a lot of people to look after. Um, and uh, membership means that you're not only investing in the most influential business organisation in Southland, but you're also investing in your business, your people and the overall well-being of the uh, business community. So our role is to connect, support and champion local business, giving our members a helping hand when they need it most. And if we can't help them, we connect them with someone who can. We have a dedicated page on our website explaining how to get involved and listing the actions that are key in helping you um, make the most of your membership. And we do really encourage that when Robert goes out and meets with people, you know, we have members sign up for different reasons. They might be a sole trader that's at home, wanting to get out and network with other people. Some businesses just sign up for the discount they get at Office Max, which is actually about five times more than what they pay in a membership fee. So everyone has their different reasons. Um, I always describe chambers is a wee bit like rotary clubs where you know you have to go along and get involved to make the most of your, your membership otherwise um, you know we can ring you in a year's time and say how's that been going and they'll sit there and go don't need it haven't used it and you look back and think you haven't been to anything you haven't been and used any of your discounts so you really have to um, take a proactive view when you join a chamber um, 
you can view an online member directory to meet our members. And our directory has hundreds of views each year and can be searched by industry keyword, new members and those who offer member to member discounts that I was talking about. So with a, a support base of 570 businesses, um, we can help businesses like yourselves and connect you with, uh, with our other members. So it's just a wee bit about membership. I'm just gonna hand over to Joe who's going to run through some of our training. Hi, I'm Jo O'Connor from the Southland Chamber and I'm the Project and Engagement Manager um, and have also looked after the training programs for the last few years. So our training and events team collectively have nearly 80 years experience between us um, in event management, education, business training and professional development. So the Chamber offers a range of professional development training programs from our multi-day leadership academy to our long BNZ Biz Bites uh, to online webinars and everything in between. Today, I'm just going to highlight five of our training programs, um, but please encourage you to have a look at our website to learn about all the other learning opportunities that we offer. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the Southland Leadership Academy, which has been designed to develop our future Southland leaders. And the program's completed over eight weeks, and it's two hours each week, either generally a Friday morning or a Tuesday evening. And the program's quite unique in its design and delivery and provides the opportunity for you to build your leadership capability through the learning from others' experiences. So our inspirers are all local senior executives who share their journey and their experiences through storytelling. So quite different to any other leadership training course that you'll attend. Um, you'll hear the good, the bad, the ugly and everything in between. So yeah, fantastic program. So since 2019, when we introduced it to Southland, we've delivered 17 intakes of the Leadership Academy in Invercargill, Tiana, Edendale, Lumsden, Gore, Rakiora, Stewart Island, and next month we're taking the Academy to Itatau. Uh, Participants benefit from the opportunity to interact with their inspirers but, and build a connection with them, but also the other participants. And we try to encourage that um, to form a really good network with other people in like-minded positions. So our alumni now number over 200 people um, and are well represented in professional manufacturing, construction, business, IT, transport, financial, primary sector, and also importantly, the not-for-profit uh, sector. We also encourage and offer ongoing professional development to our alumni and create an opportunity for them to come together. So not only will you meet the other people on your intake, we want to introduce all the 17 intakes to each other as well. So we offer... Uh, about four or five events throughout the year where they can come learn about a particular topic, network with other leaders in Southland and just build their uh, network even stronger. So the Leadership Academy is something that we're particularly proud of. It's been an incredible program uh, over the last three years and we're constantly adding new intakes all the time. So there's a lot more information on our website about that. So Please have a wee poke there if that is of interest. Secondly, the BNZ Biz Bites. This is a really popular series that's been running for over 10 years in partnership with the BNZ. Sessions are held on the first Wednesday of every month and it just provides an informal environment where you're invited to bring your lunch and you listen to a topical speaker. These sessions are a really good way to stay up to date on a lot of um, business topics we've had strategy marketing team building business technology health and wellness uh, and we also update on um, government legislation changes best of all for members uh, free to attend next i'm going to talk about the business capability series 
This is a new series that we developed just in 2020 uh, and it's been designed with the support of the Community Trust South and our local members as a bit of a collaborative programme to support organisation success for Southland not-for-profit community. So we've got around 50 not-for-profit members as part of the chamber, and this program was designed for them, and it was designed specifically to give them easy and affordable access to bite-sized professional development and just get them up to date with best practice knowledge and up-to-date techniques. Um, it, part of the program and the reason for developing it was to bring like-minded people together that are all working within that not-for-profit sector and just create opportunities for them to connect, network, share ideas and experiences and information while also um, doing a training program and learning some new skills. So due to COVID, we have also invited local businesses to attend these workshops at a commercial rate because many of the topics are transferable, whether you work in the not-for-profit or uh, business settings. So um, that's a really cool program. I've delivered 15 workshops already and just setting up the next 15 now. Westpac Smarts is the next one I'm going to talk about and that was introduced last year, 2021. And Westpac Smarts provides a regular opportunity for Southland businesses to gain expert knowledge, uh, hear a variety of different uh, speakers across different industries and get an insight on a range of thought leadership topics. Uh, next month, um, very excited to have Amy Scott, a people expert discussing master communication at SIT Centre Stage. These again are open for anyone to attend and through the sponsorship of Westpac are uh, also free to attend. Lastly, on my list is I'm going to talk about the wellbeing webinars. So also since COVID-19 lockdowns in 2020, we started, um, into, well, we introduced free online webinars discussing wellbeing. When we rang all our members during lockdown, wellbeing was sort of a number one priority for not only the business owners, but for their teams. So that was an initiative that came out of that. So we've got a wealth of um, presenters that we've been able to tap into and the topics have been extensive over each month from financial wellbeing, preventing stress and burnout, nutrition, workplace wellbeing, and many health-related topics. So again, they're open to everybody in the Southern community and are free to attend each month. Uh, just to finish on the training session, our members have a wealth of knowledge and expertise and training is a great way to get involved with the chamber. So if you're a chamber member out there, reach out to us. Um, we'd love to have your input maybe writing an article for the Chamberlink newsletter, speaking at one of our training sessions, BNZ Biz Bites, a wellbeing webinar, or maybe even a building capability series workshop. Uh, it not only helps build your brand awareness, but it also positions you and your team as a leader in your field. And it also helps us connect the Southland business community our primary objective is to support local business, as Cherise has already mentioned, and we don't want to duplicate or compete with our members in the training space or event space. Um, so to facilitate this, we are also really happy to promote other training opportunities and workshops offered by chamber members on our website. So if you are offering training sessions and you want it, little bit of extra promotion we can add those to our online training and events calendar so with 80 plus years experience if you want to upskill your team or upskill yourself please get in touch with us or view our training and events calendar online we'd love to help you whether member or non-member both can attend most of the training programs so please get in touch with us um, now I would like to pass over to Michelle to discuss our networking events. 
Wow. Thanks, Joe. 80 years of experience. I don't know whether that's, um, does that make us feel really old collectively or we're just really, really talented people? <laughs> um, okay, kia ora, everyone. My name's Michelle. I've been with um, the Chamber team for three years now and thoroughly love my job. And I'm in the, the um, space where it's we have lots of fun. Um, so at the start of each year, we get together and we look at a a blank calendar and uh, just decide what are we going to run for the year and we do have um, by the end of our session it's very full and then over the course of the year um, there's a lot of other events that get thrown in there randomly so we still need to keep some space for those things that uh, crop up. Um, so I'm just going to talk through what some of our um, networking and events looks like and um, just after listening to Sheree and Joe, I just sort of forget how much we do as a team. And uh, I'm grateful now that we've got two additional members to our team. So um, we've now got an events um, team of two, but collectively we do work together putting these events together. Um, so our priority is providing important information to all our members, as well as making sure that you've got great connections and the sort of connections you need where you're growing your business. As I said, we've got a really full calendar every year and um, that is broken up into the following type of events. So we start with uh, what's called a new member mixer. So around about every three months, we look at the uh, new members that have come on board, bring them in with uh, a morning tea and they have a morning team with the chamber team and we sit around and uh, they get to talk about who they are, what they do, and um, every time we come away from there, we're usually blown away by the calibre of businesses that are around that we don't even know about, and the diversity. It's just, um, it's, it's fantastic here in Southland. So we go from there to offering um, what's called uh, business after fives, or uh, breakfast before eight, or the other thing we've put together is uh, BA5 Expo, which we've actually got tomorrow night um, at Transport World. So I'd love to see anybody there. would like to come along and have a look at five of our members present. So this is just where um, if you want to showcase uh, your business in terms of what you do or what your premises look like and your team, uh, you invite the rest of our members to come along uh, one evening and um, you present to them and usually there's drinks and nibbles and we get to see and hear about what you do. So that can be in a forum, either in an after five or a, a breakfast or however it works. We've um, done on-site tours to all sorts of um, places, even down to Bluff, um, to the museum, out to warehouses and even to the space station. So certainly a, a variety there. Then um, what we've got is another series called our Glass Elevator. Now, um, this uh, has been running now for a number of years, and it's all about our professional women's networking group. So it was created to encourage women in business to excel and support towards success. So these events are held across either a breakfast or a lunch or an afternoon or evening sessions. And back in 2019, we launched the inaugural Women Inspiring Women Conference, not conference. <laughs> uh, and that was a, a hugely successful event. So we're looking to run that again at the end of this year. The last couple of years have been a, a little bit challenging with trying to hold events, as you can imagine. Um, but we're full steam ahead now. So that's a really good series. And we've got a number of sponsors that... Uh, sponsor that series, Video Spices, um, SIT, and um, we've also got, sorry, trying to think of them off the top of my head, I should have written them down, um, whether Joe can help me there. Um, from there, we've also got, um, we have business briefings, so this is where um, we might have a minister or a local um, uh, MP come down and speak or it just provides opportunities for members to attend um, with the latest information including you know topics around new legislation, local and central government updates. 
Then I'm just going to talk about um, our export Southland. So this is um, all part of supporting Southland exporters. Uh, we have a, a sponsorship from Southport uh, New Zealand, who this provides us with, um, we've got this Export Southland Trust. So we've got a committee there made up of our local export members. So each year we help to facilitate these events and we deliver up to four of these and they're dedicated mainly to our export business community. So these are in the form of either a panel discussion, um, again, on-site tours, we have an annual golf tournament. Um, so they've been fun. And uh, I think the first year we ran it was extremely wet and last year it was extremely hot. Um, and uh, we had a great turnout there, so a bit of fun. And the other thing that we've got running this year in the export space is our um, biannual, so every second year export awards. So this is in September this year. Um, so Export Southland is open to both chamber members and non-chamber members. So we'd encourage you if you are in the export business to look at entering these awards. Certainly happy to um, take any phone calls or go to our website and have a look at just what's involved in entering those awards. Um, we've, as part of those awards, there's four categories. You can enter um, the Innovation Award, or there's the Matera Valley Milk Organisational Award. We've also got Air New Zealand Cargo, the Individual Award, and there's a Graham Dick Memorial Trophy that's um, part of that award process. There's also um, what we have is the grant, Export Southland Trust grant. So there's a little pot of money there. Um, if you believe that um, you're looking at growing your business, and it's in the past, it's assisted many of our local export businesses towards developing their products and chosen internet and their chosen international markets. So it's available and it is open to any business or individual involved in con, um, or contributing to the export sector, regardless of your size. So you're welcome to apply. So that's a, a, a event that we're working on at the moment. So I would recommend you. Um, enter or give us a call. So just before I move on to our e other excellence and innovation area, we've got a few more events that we run and they're just a variety um, of events, as I said, that pop up through the year, such as our uh, very casual off the clock uh, networking happy hour. So this is once a month, we just get together for no reason. We um, pick a venue in town and um, yeah, feel free to come along and have a drink with us bring a friend, colleague, and or any of your clients. Um, we also have other panel discussions that we, we've got the mural debate coming up this year, um, and we run other events that we host in partnership with Coin South, Great South, um, Invercargill Young Professionals, that's your IYP, and other local businesses. So if you, um, we, again, go to our website, it's all there. Um, but we do send out a weekly events and training uh, newsletter and um, that just keeps you up to date with what we've got coming up. So I just want to um, sort of finish off in our excellence and innovation space. Now, I've already spoken about our uh, export awards. So each year we um, have a, an awards event. Last year it was our Business Excellence Awards. So... I think it was five times we tried to get these awards off the ground just due to um, the COVID environment. And finally, they were held at the start of this year. And um, so this is certainly a prestigious um, highlight on our chamber calendar. Um, and it showcases the region's business talent and capability. Um, so we had some record entries last year and with such a high caliber of businesses it was very difficult for the um, judges to make uh, a decision but um, we had uh, one of our members Fire Innovations taking the Supreme Award along with many other category award winners it uh, certainly made us proud to be part of the Southland business community. 
The other is um, I've just spoken about our Export Southland Awards. So please feel free to go on and have a look at what that entails. And then lastly, we work with uh, Dave McKissick from Southern Direction. So uh, with our Trade Qual Awards. So this is an annual graduation dinner and it acknowledges the efforts and contribution of the trades industry in Southland. Um, so it's um, the evening is just an evening of celebration where we um, present certificates, um, well they're presented actually by the mayors of Southland to graduates that have come out of the NZQA level four qualification. And anybody that's still currently working with a Southland employer um, and that is associated to the building and construction and infrastructural <laughs> industry. So that's um, all, I think, of our events and networking um, that we offer. And certainly happy to talk to anybody that's interested in wanting to hold an event. Um, again, these, you know, if you are in business and wanting to be part of the um, chamber, it is certainly important to make sure you come along to these events when you can. And um, it's definitely a great way to um, meet other business members and, members and, and network with them. So thank you. Right, back to projects with myself. Um, one of our exciting projects that we're working on at the moment is a special limited edition Southland Monopoly board game. Um, this has been created as a way to promote our region and support our members in a really innovative, fun and entertaining way. Um, the edition is currently in production um, and it's going to take you on a bit of a journey. We're going to start in the rich uh, cultural heart of Eastern Southland before exploring the Southern Scenic Route. So we're going to travel down to the coast, uh, Catlins Coast, and then follow the pathway of the Southern Scenic Route to Invercargill through to Stirling Point and Bluff, catch the ferry through to uh, Stewart Island and returning back to the mainland and heading up to Fordland via the stunning lush green and blue waters of Western Southland and Northern Southland. So a really good way to showcase the whole region of Southland and all the cool things that are to do. And of course, along the way, we will be trying some of Southland's um, foods and things along the way. So our pre-orders for the game are open. So um, get onto our website to secure get your game. It is in the limited edition game. Unlikely to be a second edition at this stage. Um, and then get ready for all your family and friends to get together, locate your favourite places on the board, and you can start building your property empire in Southland. So the games are arriving early November. So we're hoping a great Christmas stocking fuller um, and for people for Christmas and also a great idea for having in motels uh, to showcase Southland to tourists, uh, yeah, staff Christmas presents, client Christmas presents, anything. So just, um, yeah, jump onto our website and you'll see the pre-order form there and grab your copy. So yeah, a fun project, as Michelle said, some of our job is quite fun to work with. Um, another project the Chamber is really heavily involved with is the Southland Just Transitions. The Just Transitions work is a really big piece of work that's currently being underway in Southland and it's to help build Southland's economic, environmental and social strength through and beyond the possible closure of the New Zealand aluminium smelter in 2024. Cherie's um, just going to click the link to go onto the Just Transitions website. No, just up one, Cherie. Um, so just have a look through the various work streams there while I just sort of explain a little bit more about Just Transitions. So there's many organisations are involved in working on the just transitions, including EWE, local government, education providers, business representatives like ourselves with the Chamber, workers, community organisations, 
central government and also the primary sector. And overall, what we're trying to look at is what new industries and employment there are in Southland, looking at diversifying Southland's economy, supporting new industries and creating really meaningful jobs uh, for Southland and looking to transition businesses and skills. Also part of the project, identify how to support both the workers and the business community through the transition if the smelter was to close. And Great South are looking at the long-term planning and capability of the region. So as I said, it's a really big piece of work. A lot of people were involved, seven work streams. Um, and the Chamber's leading the Business Transitions Work Stream, which is one of the seven, with the support of Coin South, Invest South, and also Hannah Consulting. So our piece of work is to produce an in-depth research project to identify what support businesses would need to successfully navigate the transition if the smelter was to close. And our focus is on small businesses and also startup businesses. So to date, we've interviewed many of the smelter direct suppliers to try to get a really good understanding of their skills, their capability, their future plans, and how we could assist them transition successfully. So the project team have collated all those interviews into th key themes and takeouts, and we're, we're just sort of starting to develop the key recommendations and testing those alongside businesses before they're actually popped into any report. Um, and this included this week, we hosted a clustering for business growth and international perspective this week on Monday night with an internationally recognised expert in this area. So that's potentially one of the ideas that's come, come about as part of the discussions. But we're going to um, have a further debrief session with Smelter Direct Suppliers and early June and a draft report to be completed and submitted to MB by the 30th of June. So it's a very intense sort of six month project to really nut out how we can or we as an MB and the wider community can support businesses transfer transition if the smelter closed. The Chamber staff and board members are also involved in the other six work streams, um, including community capability, worker transition, agriculture, and Beyond 2025. So on the screen here, we've got the Beyond 2025 long-term work stream there. So this is being led by Great South, and it is to develop the region's long-term plan. There's 16 various work streams within the work stream. Um, so lots of different projects underway. They've got a longer time frame to produce the report, so it's not till August next year. So all this work has been done um, at the moment. And again, the Chamber staff and board members are supporting all these other work streams as well. And we've got members involved in the technology and manufacturing, business enablement, housing and retention and attraction projects within that. So um, a lot of work, but very exciting to be part of the discussions in creating that future. Um, just lastly on the projects, a big part of my role is developing new ideas uh, to support the local community and one of those is we're just introducing Prince2 project management training in July uh, in Invercargill later this year, but if you've got any other ideas of how we could help the business community or the community, wider community in Southland, uh, please get in touch with me. We often have trouble saying no um, and get ourselves involved in lots of really cool fun ideas and projects so yeah again just encourage you to get in touch with either myself or one of our team thank you joe i am very conscious of time because when we were putting this together we were like there's no way we can talk about what we do for 20 minutes <laughs> and we've gone way over. So I'm just going to briefly flick over some of the um, 
the other things that we do. Um, so advocacy obviously is a huge part of my role. Um, it's probably 80% of what I do. It's listening to concerns of the business community, advocating on issues um, uh, nationally and locally. Um, and so, yeah, we always seem to be popping up somewhere, having a voice about something, a squeaky wheel um, and all of that. So um, it's a huge part of kind of what we do. And the other one was, oops, uh, collaboration. So I um, won't go into detail on this, but we, we couldn't do what we do without partnering with others. So these are some of our partners that we work closely with. Um, and, you know, it, there's more information about all of these things on our website um, under collaboration. So feel free to go looking. And just to finish up, if you're ready to join us, you've got a little insight today about what we do and who we are. Um, we're a very approachable team and um, yeah, we would welcome any questions that you may have. So that's us. Thank you, Claire. Sorry about the time. No, that's great. Thank you so much. Um, so much information. Um, I've been along to some of your Mixer events and they are so beneficial. So I would strongly encourage anyone that's um, Think about becoming a member, great opportunity to come along and, and meet some other um, uh, business owners or business um, mentoring supports or, uh, around that space in the Invercargill area. But we have got a couple really quick questions and I promise very, very fast. Um, so I'll just go back into here. Um, so geographical spread. So where exactly do um, does the, the chamber local chamber cover um, and is there a cost to become a member? Sure, I'll talk a wee bit about our geographical spread and then I'll just throw to Jo, she can talk about the cost. Um, but yeah, so we are Southland Business Chamber and so we cover the Southern region. We do um, have close connections. So there's a Queenstown Chamber, Business Chamber and an Otago Chamber and a Wanaka Chamber. So we're not in those areas. We don't compete with those guys. They're our, our friends and our um our partners, um, so you're yeah, just the southern region, right over to Rakiura, as you can see, um, and yeah, all around um, rural. We've been quite proactive in the last couple of years about getting out and about into those, um, okay, I guess, the wider community rather than being so Invercargill centric. So, Jo, do you want to tell us a wee bit about the value? Yeah, membership. I've got the prices in front of me because I had to look them up. Um, membership starts for not-for-profit organisations, just $100 plus just per year. So great value for a not-for-profit organisation. And the rest of the businesses are all based on your number of FTEs. So a sole trader or a partnership is what we call a level one, $235 plus GST uh, per year. So it's $25 a month or $20 a month. It's very reasonable when you think of all the things that you can access, all the information, the resources, and all those free trainings, um, right up to a level six, which is 150 plus employees, which is $745 per year. So still great value, we think. The bargain, Claire. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> Very good value for money. Um, another one here was uh, just quickly about the exporting uh, networks events. Uh, are these open to um, only exporters or if you're thinking about exporting, are you able to join in there as well? No, absolutely. Open to everybody, members and non-members. Um, we would encourage all exporters to get involved in the exporting community. It's a really good um network because they have their own um, issues you know at the moment they're dealing with um, logistics and freight and supply chains and all of that so you find that the topics are, are very much um, around those export um, I guess concerns or issues at the time but you know they're also issues there that are wider for every business so more than welcome for anybody to come along to those great. especially the golf tournament it's a great day out <laughs> Um, do you network with local and central government? Yes, um, I guess that's more around the advocacy role. Um, so I feel like maybe not networking, but more um, advocating or lobbying um, with them. So it's central, uh, local government, obviously, 
Um, we survey our members every year for the council's long-term um, and then submit on long-term plans and other things that the councils have. So for example, the CBD development was one that we um, put forward a submission on because that affected a lot of businesses in town, whether that should go ahead or not. Um, so lots of local issues. And then at that government um, level, yes, we've just uh, put a submission forward from our members around the income insurance scheme um, and things like that. So all the time we are, you know, for the housing, we led a delegation to um, Parliament and met with ministers up there because before we did that, they didn't realise there was a housing crisis in Southland. So um, definitely it's, yeah, it's a big part of what we do is just, you know, being that, that combined voice is, is a lot bigger than just one lonely soul voice. So um, proud to be, you know, the voice of Southland business down here. Um, just one last quick question, uh, quick one that will pop in there. Um, does the chamber help source funding for business or funding for businesses? It's not really our jam. Um, that's more of our EDA, Great South, which have got a session coming up today. So they'll be able to run through a bit more th about that. They've got the regional business partner contract for Southland, so they can help businesses with, um, you know, discounts on training. And they also um, have Callaghan um, R&D funding and things like that. But they are the experts, so they'll be able to run through that. Um, we're more of the, the networking with, I guess other business, other other members um, around that, but not in that funding sense. But we can sure we're, um, we know and we work well with the team, the business team at Great South. So we're happy to be able to hook you up with them. Yeah, I hear where it's all about networking, isn't it? If you, um, it's not that it's a wrong, no wrong door. You'll just no, have to in the right space. Hey, thank you so much. Um, that was absolutely brilliant. I really appreciate. Um, the work chamber does down here and now I'm going to hand it back to Michelle, uh, to Michelle, to Angela thanks very much Thanks Clea and thank you to the Southland Chamber team, what a wonderful presentation, I mean Southland is, businesses are very very spoiled to have that um, the wealth of knowledge within your team there Cherie, so uh, brilliant job sharing what you do and I hope that um, all of our attendees uh, take full advantage of the service that you guys have to offer down there we will be hearing from um, Great South and some of the other chambers later on today. So do join us for those sessions if you are out of the Southland region or you are looking at um, funding support for your business. If you forget anything that you hear throughout these sessions and you don't know where to go to start, please do see the team at Connected. We've got their details up on the, the screen there. So we've got Claire, who's based in Invercargill, Benji, who is in Dunedin, and Elizabeth, who is in Queenstown. So they will cover, cover all the southern region and um, be able to point you in the right direction if you forget everything. Uh, in terms of Digital Boost, if you are on a digital transformation journey, I would encourage you to check out our new product, which is Checkable. So that is going to help uh, your business start or um, analyse where you're at in your digital transformation journey. Um, once again, thank you to uh, um, here today from the Southland Chamber. It's been wonderful to have you. Thank you to our attendees who have joined us on the webinar and to those who have joined us via our live stream. We look forward to seeing you in our sessions this afternoon with the rest of our local agencies or tomorrow's sessions with our government agencies. Thanks a lot, team. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.